He put on there, why don't you leave the animals alone, do this and that. Well, you know what? Obviously, the man ain't educated. Martin done up. I uh, almost forgot to video of a little bit of it, so I, I got him started anyway, but that's all right. I mean, it's just a matter of cutting, right? So uh, they're easy. They're they're just like a big uh, weasel. And the thing is, what I like, I rigged up myself a winch for the, the big dogs, you know, uh, uh, otters, uh, coyotes, wolves, all that stuff. It makes it a lot easier. I mean, you start lifting and hooking, and and this just runs off my little battery pack. So, 12 volt, but she works. Just because I, there we go. Same principle as the weasels. The only thing we're going to do here. I went out and my son and his wife and my grandbabies, they bought me a tail stripper for Christmas. So we're going to try that. Uh, we'll just see where that goes from here. Yes, yeah, so these winches out are the answer. That's, uh, Saves a lot of, a lot of work, I mean, I do these over my knee too, but, oh yeah, I forgot to get that stripper out, that's right. Oh well, I guess, uh, we'll see how this works. We just, uh, I had a plastic one before. That's just to take the bone out. So we'll see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these both together. You know what I'm going to do? I'll just uh, solder down here because uh, I'm sure you guys don't want to see me practicing. <laughs> but, uh, I've uh, used these before, but not for a long time. I've never had a metal one, so they're supposed to work. Look at that, it does. Look at it, perfect. I'll split the tail after. Now what I'll do, I'll just lift it up. Right. Whoop, wrong, wrong, wrong up. Notch the height, both sides, you know. Then you give a pull. Down to the ears. Get a little tight on that one. Oh, he's got a bugger jaw here. Oh, well, we got a little bit tight on the head there, but uh, you know what? It's the head.
my favorite knife right here, but it's starting to, I better give her a touch. Same thing, it don't take long, but uh, again, uh, like I was saying, you guys, it's, uh, I was taught if you don't do your best, try your best. Leave them alive, leave them in the bush. Why, why, uh, why kill them and then just waste them? You know, I mean, you're bound to bugger up on one or two, but you know what? It's not intentional. does happen. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there that's uh, got me beat by far. There, he's done in here. As you can see the skull here, this is an old male. Look at, if they're young, they'll have a white, the skull plate comes up in here, you'll see it. This is all muscle, he's an old male. He is old. So that's all right. There's a young one to take his place out there. So what we'll do is uh, get ready. I'll uh, fire it up when we're putting them on the board. Well, we got her all done. We're going to start boarding it. It's, uh, it's, uh, good Martin, big old male. So I got to use a big board. And you guys, here's the thing. The board, it's one of my largest. I've got them all marked. If you look close, what does it say? Dad's. It's one of my dad's boards. Uh, I got probably about 12, 14 boards up here. And you know what? Uh, I put these on the board all the time. And, and every time when I use one of my dad's, it's... Uh, it brings me closer and says, Dad, I wish you were here. You know, uh, I lost my granddad. Uh, he taught me how to trap. I was young. Uh, I was probably 17 when he passed, 16, 17. If I remember, and my dad, while well, I was young again. So I, was, I think I was 32 or 33 when he passed. So I just wish the boys could be here to, with me. But anyway, it's the same thing. As a weasel. Always scrape up on them. Always scrape up. It's just one of those things, uh, yeah. Once in a while, <laughs> you do do a slip. I haven't yet. Not this year. But, uh, a little bit of a slip. If there's a bubble in your board, or, I mean, in your hide, and it hits the board, yeah, you're going to cut. And just be careful of that. But same thing, uh, We'll just scrape them up under each armpit and and down underneath and the belly and, and the martins there's belly fat so get rid of it and I just gotta check see where the camera is I'm not used to this uh, this kind of stuff but uh, bear with me guys another thing I want to uh, mention here while we're doing this is uh, yeah. Uh, some guys asked us where where we located. Well, I thought I'd put it out in a couple before, but yeah, we're in Alberta, Canada, uh, north uh, northern Alberta. I border the Saskatchewan border, which is kind of good, and uh, my trap line is in in one of the best areas, which is in the park region, the Lac-La-Bish Provincial. Recreation area. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And uh, another one, another one that gets me, guys. You know what? I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull the camera off here for a bit because uh, we're getting long, and uh, I got trouble if it's too long to uh, to post it. So I want to make sure this is heard. Okay, we got back at her, and it's the same thing. Uh, we'll get on where I left off right away, but uh, <clears throat> we gotta we gotta get this tail stretched. Same thing as the weasels. 
This is where it's important on this kind of fur. So I'll pull it down, back off, just, just where it's snug. There you go. Put a, put a spike in her. But what I was going to say is, uh, yeah, we got a lot of comments coming in, guys. Uh, most of them are just awesome. I, I love them. But there's one fella, it's been bugging him. Like, he put on there, why don't you leave the animals alone? Do this and that. Well, you know what? Obviously, the man ain't educated. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, maybe he's doing something I don't like. For instance, we go to his house, maybe he's the same guy crying. Maybe we go look, he's got a fish in a jar, a bird in a cage, a cat that's declawed, and a dog on a chain, which I'm totally against. Do you hear me putting that out there? No, because you know what? Alberta was made by trappers. And you know what? Uh, they can cry all they want. It's, it's, uh, people that listen to them, like our government and stuff, is, uh, they're the ones that, uh, they pay attention to. They don't pay attention to the ones that's in the bush living her up. And you know what? I don't think I'm hurting it at all. I think we're doing the, the, the wildlife good in my behalf. But uh, you know what? I'm not a scientist. I'm not a biologist. I'm not a crybaby. I just live. This is what I want to do. You know, uh, like I said, I lost my grandfather at an early age. And uh, that's why I'm here. Because he made a living off what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's just too bad that uh, people can't open their eyes and, and, and see how this country's going. So anyway, another thing I was going to bring up, you guys, it, it's about the trappers, is uh, I'm way out here doing my stuff, you know. I contact my wife whenever I ah, get the phone in my hands and not videoing, but uh, about the cougars. We had a lot of cougars here. You know what? I'm going to shut her down here a little bit. Then the same thing. I'm going to, uh, this guy's got everything on the board. I'm coming back. We just put a belly board in it because I got to turn him later. And if he tightens up, I ain't getting him off the board. So I'll put, I two short ones. So I'm going to put one each way here and it's going to work the same principle. Right now, we'll leave the legs out. Because what's going to happen here, when I turn them, I want them to stay inside. And uh, this is one that has to be turned, guys. So probably about two hours, we'll turn them back.